so now let's talk about the fifth class of antiarrhythmic drugs the first drug in this class is adenosine there are two types of receptors of adenosine a1 receptors and a2 receptors a1 receptors are of g inhibitory type of receptors which are present in av node and bronchi which shows the blocking effect in av node and bronchoconstriction in bronchi whereas a2 receptors are of gs type receptors which are present in blood vessels where it causes vasodilatation adenosine is administered through intravenous route with rapid infusion because they are rapidly taken up by cellular adenosine uptake protein due to which their half life is 1 to 5 seconds that's why they are known as shortest acting antiarrhythmic drugs due to which adenosine is drug of choice for acute attack of svt and psvt most common side effects are flushing and dyspnea they are contraindicated in patients of bronchial asthma and copd because they cause bron- bronchoconstriction so they can be dangerous in these patients we cannot give beta blockers to these patients so the drug of choice in these patients will be verapamil adenosine is also contraindicated in patients of transplanted heart there is one more feature of adenosine is that it also open the potassium channels due to which adenosine cannot be used in patients of atrial fibrillation the second drug that we have in this class is magnesium sulfate which act as calcium channel blockers due to which they are used in long kidney syndrome in case of acute attack which can cause torsades our drug of choice will be magnesium sulfate and for long term management in case of acquired condition we will advise the patient to avoid the drugs which can cause qt prolongation in case of congenital condition our drug of choice will be beta blocker but the treatment of choice will be pacing with icd the another drug of class 5 is atropine which stimulate the sa node and av node both due to stimulation of sa node it causes increase in heart rate and there is increase in conduction due to stimulation of av node that is why they are used in bradyarrhythmia of sinus arrest and sinus bradycardia and also in case of inferior wall myocardial infarction atropine is also used in the reversal of av nodal block in case of digoxin toxicity there is one more drug in class 5 that is digoxin which act as a parasympathomimetic drug that can cause av blocking so they are used in the long term management of svt and psvt due to their feature of slow onset they cannot be used in acute attack so with this we have finished the discussion of antiarrhythmic drugs thank you so much